Daniel Glenn San Luis, Dr. Tony Del Carmen, gurus, graduates, families and friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It wasn't so long ago that we saw ourselves going back to the classroom, which I'm sure for most of us was not an easy thing to do. Some of us would have probably thought, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m.? Are you kidding me? My day starts at 10 and ends at 3. In case studies, I don't have time for that. There are just too many things going on in the office. It wasn't so long ago that we had started hoping and singing in our heads. I wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad. It wasn't so long ago that we met our gurus for the first time, not knowing what to expect from each one of them. Little by little, we discovered that Prof. Danny Antonio was really the real estate and finance expert as, we, as what we had heard from previous batches, and that he did sort of resemble that guy from Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Bernardo was not only good in making money, but also in spending it, or <laughs> in spending each week of his life doing something he had never done before in order to see through other people's eyes. That Prof. Tommy Lopez was, was such an animated storyteller, he himself was a reminder to us that being remarkable was better than just being better. The Prof. Andy Ferreria, a.k.a. the serial entrepreneur, was not only collecting businesses, but also expensive cars. And that Prof. Ed Morato, aside from being a tough, uncompromising mentor, yet indeed a brilliant educator, is really capable of finding out who has not read the case, and that he would also make sure you would never let it happen again, at least not in his class. Before we knew it, we had immersed ourselves into this exceptional course and completely accepted our fate in the next couple of months. And I am sure that for most of us here today, this was one of the best decisions that we made in our lives. Use logic, use intuition, break existing paradigms, look around you and look inside your organization, put your money in your major strategies, what is not measured will not be achieved. These were some of the lessons that we learned. If I had to talk about each and every one of them today, forget about dinner and our night out after. Prof. Danny, thank you for sharing your experiences and achievements, but more importantly, your encounters with failure, because we were reminded that entrepreneurship is about recovering from crisis and being able to go beyond your past successes. Prof. J, thank you for giving us a glimpse of how much fun being a successful entrepreneur can be. It will make all the dirty work and all the sleepless nights a little easier to handle. Prof. Tom is not here, but I'll say it anyway. Thank you for hammering in, a, in our minds that a soap is a soap is a soap is a soap. Because now we know how crucial it is to differentiate ourselves in a society that has a million and one choices. Otherwise, we will be forgotten. Prof. Andy, thank you for encouraging us to stay close to the edge because this is where we'll find the second curves of our industries and this will allow us to adapt, survive, and maybe even excel. Prof. Ed, thank you for instilling in us the discipline not only of reading cases and reciting in class, but also of continuously pushing ourselves and improving the way we think and the way we do things in our enterprises. Because this course gave us a framework that forced us to think of where we want to take our enterprise, where we are now, and how we plan to get there, we discovered just how passionate we were as entrepreneurs. To the whole team of ACE and all the hardworking staff of the Ateneo Graduate School of Business, Thank you for your patience and for helping us survive this course. To all our teachers, we were lucky to have had the pleasure of learning from such a talented group of practitioners. 
To my dear classmates, thank you for reminding me how fun and absolutely enriching it is to go to school. Don't forget to thank your people, especially your accountants that you constantly harassed for your company's financial statements. To our families, to my husband, my mom, and my dad, thank you for your enduring support and firm belief in us. Amidst the pressure of carrying the flag of our companies or continuing the legacies of our parents, grandparents, or even great-grandparents, these lessons in ME have armed us with excellent tools that will give us a fighting chance in our competitive world. And we will fight because now we have a deeper sense of purpose in being entrepreneurs. As we continue to develop and challenge ourselves, we will not only create a future that can keep our families secure, we will also provide opportunities for our hardworking and trustworthy employees to share this future with us. And we won't stop there. Now that we are equipped with the tools, the information, and <clears throat> unlimited consultations with other groups, we will be able to run our enterprises in a way that would not only benefit our own bank accounts, but more importantly, would allow us to play a part in the growth and sustainability of communities that surround us.